<laughs> Did you watch the election? Uh, as a, you know, when I've had Mulroney on the show before, and Kretzian, and they've talked about, you know, sometimes they'll watch an election or they'll watch the news, and with their wife they'll have a conversation about some of the Friday morning quarterback that only you guys could do because <laughs> you held the office. Did you watch the election? And were you, was it one of those things, or do you avoid it? No, I watched the election. It was not exactly the most, the greatest night of my life, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but when did you get a sense that it was coming apart? Oh, I think that probably, I think we knew about 10 days earlier. Really early, right? Yeah. Oh, really, eh? Well, I, you, you, there was certainly a feeling, uh, a feeling out there, and I, I think it is unfortunate. But, I, but what's happening now is the party's rebuilding, and I'm, I feel very good about where the party is right now. And, and you know, the, the, it comes down to who's going to occupy the center. And just take the conversation that we're, we're talking about. I believe that the center says you don't abandon Aboriginal Canada. I think the center says you do have a child care program. I think the center says you do, in fact, eliminate deficits. And so I feel very good about where the party is right now. And, okay, for, and, uh, I got a couple of questions about the Liberal Party, but more the NDP, not as a political, uh, in terms of partisanship, but as a guy who can certainly understand what Jack Layton is facing right now. What, what kind of advice would you give to Jack? As This is uncharted territory for that party. He's got a lot of new MPs. Uh, what, what's your advice to a guy like Jack? Well, I, I think I, I would say it would be, you know, remain true to, remain true to your, con your convictions. Uh, I hope he does. I'm, I think the jury's out on that. Do you feel in any way responsible for what happened? Well, no, but do I feel badly about it? Obviously, I feel badly. And do I wish maybe that I had done a little bit more? And I suppose all of us feel the same way. When, you, you, when they brought you on the campaign, and I always wonder when a former leader goes on a campaign to help out a party, did you know that at that time, like, did you look at Michael Ignatieff and say, you're the guy, you can do this? Well, I, th I think M Michael Ignatieff ran a very strong campaign. Uh, you know, there are many reasons these, these kinds of things happen. And as I say, it really did happen in the last, uh, in the last, in the last 10 days. But I'm going to go back. I don't think any of us are going to spend all, all of our time, you know, wrestling with what happened in the past. What we're going to do is we're going to look forward, and that's what the Liberals are doing.